Hey you guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel. Peter! Boom, 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 <laughs> review stuff. And today, little Boo Radley is here with us today. He said, Dad, he said, I am so tired of Sally and Sandy Joe being able to be in the videos. <laughs> he said, I want to be in the video too. So you are, aren't you? Now he's gonna go here behind us and I can t guarantee you that he will scratch, 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 scratch and he will make himself a little hole back there. That's what he does. Anyway, today is my, we slept through uh, Black Friday shopping haul and I will explain that in just a second. But I do wanna say this, oh, where's my gift card? I had it right over here. This is the first giveaway of doing a giveaway every single day on this channel until Christmas Day, and I will tell you, probably Christmas Eve and Christmas Day will be some pretty big giveaways, I just want to say. I'm kind of planning ahead for what that will be, and they will be one person each, I think. I don't know. I may pick a couple people. We'll see. We'll see, okay? But I'm very, very excited about that, and I'm going to come up with some kind of different things. I will tell you that the majority of these will probably be gift cards, just because it's easier for me to send and get there quicker. Um, and so, the first one today is a $25 gift card, uh, Visa gift card. Um, now let me tell you something, okay? Family and friends of mine, you're not allowed to win. Caroline, my cousin, who apparently watches all of my review videos, I thank you for that, but let me tell you what my cousin. We were at Thanksgiving yesterday. Did you see Sally and Sandy Joe up there? Okay. Hey, gals! Anyway, we were at Thanksgiving dinner yesterday at Hollyhock Hill, and I said to my cousin, she goes, oh my god, I've been watching all your review videos, and I go, oh, you have that? So sweet. Thank you so much. Because, you know, I talk about my grandma on there. My grandma that went to prison, but we don't talk about that. Like, we didn't sit there at dinner and go, oh my god, I remember grandma that went to prison. We didn't talk about it. Well, I mean, we kind of did a little bit, jokingly. But anyway, so we were talking about all that. Because, uh, so anyway, she said she watches all my videos. I go, you do? I go, what do you like about my videos? And she goes, well, they're short. I go, you like them because they're short. So anyway, she don't get a win. Okay, now. The reason that I'm instilling this, this rule into the giveaway that no family or friends can win is not because that's just how it should be because your friends and family shouldn't win because you can pick them, right? It's because my friends and family don't watch my videos. And if they do, the only reason they watch them is because it's short. Except for her son, David. He watches all of my videos and he can win. David can win. So anyway, but David's going to get a real nice Christmas present anyway, so it doesn't really matter. David, just don't even enter. Okay. But anyway, I was like, who, I thought that was Pee Pee the Flying Chihuahua back there, but he's in bed upstairs. He doesn't feel very well today. And Boo Radway, he jumped down. He's not beside me anymore. Okay. This. Here, I got to get my thumbnail for it right first. Hold on a second. My Nike bag. Get this all going on here. Okay. Oh, snap. Okay, there's, when I was putting the bags down on the floor, I knocked the ring light over, okay? That's just how things are over here. We're not going to edit. Don't even worry about it, okay? You're getting a giveaway. What more do you want? Okay, so anyway, let me tell you what happened, okay? Last night, we got up about, oh, I don't know, 9.30, 9.45 to go to Edinburgh Outlet Mall. So that's where we go every, well, I went, Alex last year, I think he didn't go. He was like, I'm too tired. I'm going to stay home. But like, we've gone every year. Tanya, my good Judy goes sometimes, and Alex and I will meet up with his family and other times, things like that. But his mom... She's never gotten to go. So she wanted to go with us last night. My sister-in-law, Liliana, she's supposed to go too, but she fell asleep. So she was too tired, the kids and all that kind of stuff. She didn't go. So Alex and I, we went and picked up his mom. We got coffee. You can go watch my vlog channel. I talk all about it. But anyway, we went to Edinburgh Outlet Mall. Now, let me tell you, we got there like right at 11. I said, listen, okay, gals, we got three hours, okay, to make it around the whole mall because they closed at 2. But then we found out later that they didn't. They were all the stores were just staying open until 10 o'clock tonight. So if you're watching this, you can still go to Edinburgh Outlet Mall. But I'm not there anymore. I'm just telling you, okay? So anyway, I'm like walking around and I like tweeted something out. And I was like, um, uh, oh, I'm shopping at Edinburgh or whatever. And then, all right, I don't know. I put it out somewhere. I talked about it on a vlog or I don't know how. But anyway, all, I, people started texting me and DMing me and being like, oh, my God, I'm here and I'm looking for you. And I was like, oh, my God, don't look for me. I'm so scary looking. But anyway, so, no, but I felt bad because let me tell you why. Sometimes when I go places and then people will be like, oh, my God, you said you were here and whatever. Were you trying to avoid me? And because I was trying to find you. And I'm like, no, I wasn't trying to. I would like, hey, I was here, you know. So I DMed one person and I tweeted the other person I told him exactly where I was so I was in Calvin Klein and I was waiting because Alex was looking at uh, coats and underwear so anyway sexy underwear for my husband oh my god family friendly but anyway he does look good in Calvin Klein underwear so anyway I was sitting there and uh, I was like just waiting up front and all of a sudden this woman comes through she's like oh my god there you are so anyway uh Rachel hey how are you I love you Rachel she was so sweet and her stepdaughter Serenity and then Serenity had me sign something for her mom Dolly oh my god Dolly and I said, I love uh, her, and her dad was there too. And I love the name Dolly so much. And then Dolly sent me the nicest message on Instagram. I mean, like the nicest message in the world. And um, so anyway, that her daddy told me that her name was Dollarita. And I was like, I think 
it was Dollarita or Dollarada. I was like, oh my God, I love that even more. But anyway, they were so nice and they came up to me and we took a picture and it was real cute. And stuff. It's over on my Twitter, you can see it. But then I was like walking around and I kept on getting these tweets from this girl named Caitlin. Hey, Caitlin, oh my God, and Rosie and Rowan, how are you? So anyway, oh, these two people passed me on the way and they were like, one woman grabbed my arm and she was like, oh my God, I love your videos. I was like, I did not know that people in Indiana actually watch my videos. So anyway, two of the people told me it's my Peterisms videos that they watch. See, I always say that. People always come up to me and they talk to me about my Peterisms videos, which is so crazy because out of the entire world of people that might be able to watch that channel, I literally get less than a thousand views a video and every time somebody comes up to me, it's about the Peterisms videos. Okay. So anyway, then um, I, we were in the Nike store and uh, Caitlin, she came running in. She was like, oh my God, I found you. She was so sweet. And um, I talked all about that on my video, but Caitlin brought us a bag of shopping treats, okay? A bottle of water for my husband, a Diet Coke for me, a Snicker bar for me, because I love that. Uh, Sour Patch Kids for my husband, because those are his favorites. She brought uh, sour cream, potato chips, Pringles. I started eating those last night. There, I, she brought so much stuff. There was a little card, a little candle. She was so nice. You guys were unbelievable. And then as we were walking away, she goes, say, good, say hi to your good Judy Tanya. I was like, oh my God. And I told Tanya that today on the phone. But anyway, that was fun. And then we were in Bath and Body Works. I'm gonna show that in just a second, right? And when we were done I was like chatting it up with these women that were working at the counter and stuff like that it was real funny and we were sitting there and at the end the girl that was like standing behind the one that was helping me she looked right at me and she goes I know who you are <laughs> It totally reminded me of that movie I saw what you did and I know who you are, you know, with Cheryl Ladd. You ever seen that? Oh my god, I love that movie back in the day. But anyway, it had that uh, that one that's in Saw. She was in it too. Oh my god, I forgot that I met her at Horror Hound Weekend and I but anyway, I didn't meet her, but I saw her in the, the you know the panel. But anyway. She was in that, uh, Shawnee Smith, Shawnee Smith, yeah, Shawnee Smith, but anyway. So she goes, I know who you are, and she goes, can I please get a picture with you? And I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. And then this girl that had been helping me, she was so funny, she's like, who is he, who is he? And I was like, oh my God. And then she said something about like, the other girl was like, he's a YouTuber, I watch all of his videos. And uh, she go, she said something like, um, how many subscribers does he have? And Alex, uh, my rude ASS husband, he said something like millions or something. I was like, Alex, shut up! So anyway, so that was so nice. She was so sweet. And I cannot remember her name to save my life. I was like, I went to, I meant to go out to my car and like write all the names down because I would remember them. But anyway, I'm sorry I don't remember your name. But the next time I'm in Bath and Body Works, I will uh, give you a shout out. Okay. So that was last night. It was so sweet. I had like literally people were coming. It was just so nice. It was just like, you know, it's surreal what I do and like making videos on a YouTube channel, sitting in my living room or the drive through at Starbucks or vlogging in a car. It's like, you don't really have a lot of interactions with people. So when people come up to you like Caitlin, I got real emotional about this in my vlog. She's watched my vlog channel every single day for two years. She has allowed me into her life for two years every single day. And I know that this channel over here is real funny, ha ha. But you know, my vlog channel isn't. And my, my vlog channel, it isn't real funny, ha ha. It's serious stuff, it's stories of my life and about my recovery and my mother's passing and my family and on and on. And yes, about my grandmother went to prison. And it's stories about who I am as a person and the fact that somebody would allow me into their life every day for two years, like, that is really surreal and very, very meaningful. And I just want you all to know that your comments, your likes, and everything that you say is never missed on me. Thank you so much. And the overwhelming support that I am getting for this channel, that people are saying, I love this channel. It's so funny. Ha ha, blah, blah, blah. Thank you so much because this channel is literally a lifesaver. It has been a lifesaver at a point where I felt that YouTube was getting very, very dark and I was able to start something to have a lot of fun with. Thank you for allowing me to have this channel. Okay. Because I got a lot of fun stuff coming up in 2022 on this channel. Let's get into this. Now, the first place that we went was Perfumania. And I have so many colognes. I didn't think that I needed any. But uh, my husband's best friend, Sarah, she wears Terry Mugler Alien, right? And every time I smell her, I'm like, oh, my God, I love that so much. So they had Terry Mugler Alien for Man there. Okay, do you see it? The problem was they didn't have a, um, a sample that, or a tester that you could smell it. So I have no idea what it smells like. Or I didn't. But then I opened it. I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to take a risk. Now, I think it was, I think it was $64. But then it was like 20% off. It was like $65. It was like $64.99, $65. And then it was like 20% off. Um, and so I don't know what that was. But anyway, let me show you. The bottle is very, very pretty. And I absolutely love this. Okay, I got to my car and I said, I didn't even get a see. See, it has a little Terry Mugler star on there. So if you wear Angel, it's very similar to Angel. Um, and it kind of does smell a little bit like Angel for men. But um, you know, you're not supposed to rub your cologne. And I learned that years and years and years ago. It changes the scent. Did you know that? 
yeah, it's really, really nice. And I mean, for me, for an everyday cologne that I can just wear when I'm going around stuff, it's kind of smoky. It, it smells kind of smoky, but then there's like a lavender citrus to it too. It's really, really nice. I'm being 100% here, okay? I wouldn't say it's my favorite cologne in the entire world, but I would probably give it like out of five. I mean, it's sexy. It's a smoky, sexy scent. I would probably give it a four, three, a four, three out of five. It's nice. I mean, definitely a five, I will tell you, is Creed Aventus for me all the, all the way. Chanel Blue is probably a 4.6, 4.7. And, yeah, but this is, I would say, a 4.3. This is really nice. So, and, and I would say something about, if you've ever shopped at Perfumania, they are, in the past, they are known for not always having, like, the, the highest end colognes, but they're starting to have more nicer colognes, which I was really impressed with last night. But my cologne, my Michael Kors for men, has been discontinued, and they don't have that anymore. The last place that we went was, and Caitlin got to see me try these shoes on, with no socks, by the way, Nike, I'm just saying. Okay, anyway, but I have wanted a pair of just, like, black, like, Air Force Ones or running shoes for a while. Of course, I picked one of the more expensive shoes in the store because I wasn't looking at the price tag because I was talking to Caitlin. Caitlin, this is your fault. No, I'm, not, I'm just joking. But anyway, I wanted a pair of, like, black running shoes because I don't have a pair of, like, all black shoes. Like, I mean, yes, dress shoes, but not, like, casual shoes, like, all black. So if we go out somewhere and I want to wear, like, a black sweater or whatever, I can wear that with it if I don't want to wear boots, you know? So, and in the winter. So I got these Nike Air Maxes. I wear size 10 in a shoe, but don't buy some, don't buy me shoes and send them to me. Did you know that that was bad luck? You're not supposed to do that. Okay. That's like a Venezuelan thing. My husband told me you're like, and his mom said it too. You're not supposed to buy somebody's shoes because it means that they'll like walk away from you. Did you know that? Okay. So anyway, so, but I did, I bought him shoes yesterday. <laughs> After I just told that story, oh my God, I bought his shoes for him. Because we got more of a discount if we bought the shoes together. I hope he doesn't walk away from me now, my Lord. Anyway, when you see me walking down the street and I pass you by, walk on by. Anyway, so these are my shoes. Aren't they so cute, though? Yeah, I'm real excited about this. I'll be working out at the gym every day in this. More like putting them on while I go through Starbucks. Okay. So those are the Nike ones. I really, you guys, to be honest with you, I didn't really buy a whole lot. Um, okay, so both of our shoes together came to 131. I remember the register, and then it was 30% off that. So whatever 30% off is 131. And then I got the clone was 64, and it was 20% off that. I don't know what that is. Y'all ready? Okay, y'all ready for this? Da da da. They only play that at basketball games and stuff now. Anyway, this bag is so heavy. It is. Bath and Body Works they have in Edinburgh. It's kind of newer, I think. It's like a year old or something. But let me tell you the deal they were having when we walked by. I could not believe it. Alex was like, do you not think that we have enough candles at home? I go, shut it. We're buying some candles. I'm so excited. And it was really funny. We had so much fun in there. It was really fun to go through. And like Alex would say, like, this is a candle that I really like. So he picked three. It was three for three. So if you bought three, you got to match three things that were exactly the same price. Or if you bought three... Like, you paid for the three highest expensive things, and then the next three things were free. So, I got three candles, and then I had him pick three candles out, and we did all that kind of stuff. So, let me show you. Woo, that coffee is good. What I got. Now, first things first, I wanted to get more of these plug-ins, because I really like these. Upstairs in our bedroom, we have champagne toast. But I got this one, and this one. And these were like, I don't think I got three of these. Did I? I don't think I did. No, I didn't get three of these. I just got two because we have one upstairs. So this is for like one like over there, one like over there. And these are like, uh, uh, I think they were like $9.95 or something. What does it say on here how much they were? Okay, here they are. $8.50. So they're $8.50 a piece. This little light of mine, I'm going to make it shine. Oh, this little light of mine, I'm going to make it shine. Did you ever sing that in church uh, camp? I only went to church camp one year. I said after that, I was about five and I knew enough right then. I said, Mom, no more church camp. Thank you very much. Okay, so anyway, that was the first thing. <laughs> I got a little bag. A little bag for Sandy Joe up there. Then I bought a bunch of these plug-in things. And you guys, by that point, I was so overwhelmed and ready to go home that I just started grabbing them. So I got flannel. And then I got cinnamon and clove buds. <laughs> I got frozen lake. I got, uh, what's, Holiday. I think I got that. some of these as a candle, too. And then I got Winter. And I got a Winter. Two Winters. Because <laughs> I liked it when I, oh, I picked it. They have, like, the little, you could smell it. The little smell thing right there. And I liked that. So I got those, too. Okay. 
Now, we tried to buy candles that weren't necessarily holiday themed because we have so many candles right now. I'm about to put one of these on the candle wax uh, warmer in the kitchen. I want to get another one of those candle wax warmers. But we, uh, oh, by the way, I have literally had so many people reach out to me and say that they are sending me the cranberry Sprite, which is very, very sweet. Thank you very much. Because on Amazon, it is so expensive. You did not need to spend that kind of money. I got on there to order it. And I was like, are you kidding me? It is so expensive on Amazon, the, the cranberry Sprite. So please, thank you so much for those of you that said you're sending it to me. But you don't have to, okay? I really appreciate it, but you don't have to do that. Um, so anyway, these are the candles that we got, and we tried to get, um, like, ones that we could use, like, all throughout the year. We got uh, these coupons, December 20th through the 24th, free gift with any $10 purchase, up to $16 value. We got two of those. Okay, so I'm going to tell you which ones I got and which ones Alex got. Okay, this was Alex's, and he kept on saying to me, this is the kind of candle that I like. This is the exact candle I like. And he got the Aromatherapy Stress Relief uh, Eucalyptus and Tea, and he said this is, like, his favorite smell. And it smells really good. This, God, it reminds me of some spa that we went to. But that is fantastic. So that was the first one that he bought. We got six total. And then this is Marshmallow Fireside. <laughs> this was one of mine. But it doesn't have to just be Christmas because it can go all winter. Oh, my God. Okay, this smells like s'mores 100%. Straight up smells like s'mores. That smells so good. Now, doesn't... Bath and Body Works. Can somebody put it in the comment section below? I don't need any more candles. But don't, don't they have some, like, super big deal that's going on here very, very soon? Like, it's super cheap. Whatever that date is, can you put it in the comment section below? But this is fantastic. I will tell you that my, um, this is kind of, like, coming off a little bit. I don't know why I think about that. They literally had 9 million candles in there, so I was like, okay. Um, and then the next one that we got was Give Thanks. And this is kind of, like, Alex smelled it, and he was like, this is a candle that you like. And it, yeah, it's very, it smells like cinnamon and smells kind of like leaves. It's very fallish and I love those, okay? I could burn these year round. Anything that smells like kitchen scents, I love. Not common scents, kitchen scents. But I do like things that smell like common sense too because there's not a lot out there that does anymore. There's not a lot of people that have common sense anymore. You know, you can't teach common sense to somebody. I'm just saying, okay? So, um, wouldn't that be great though if you went in for a job and you were going to hire somebody and then you ha they had to take a test uh, for uh, a common sense? They'd all fail. And then you would know, don't hire this fool. Anyway, <laughs> you cannot teach somebody common sense, period, in the story. Okay, and this one is winter. Oh my God, this smells so good. This was like both of ours. Like we loved this. And I can't really, it smells like a fireplace kind of, but then spicy chai. <laughs> Josh would love that. Chai kind of, it smells good. Okay, and then we got, Alex said this was one of his favorites, which is so funny because when I went in there before to buy the candles for this uh, channel, I smelled it. I was like, this is one of my least favorites. And that's mahogany teak wood. I'm going to smell it again and see if maybe I like it. No, I still don't like it. <laughs> He can burn it when I'm not here. This is not one of my favorites. Mahogany teakwood. Okay, and then the last one. This should be one that I picked, and I don't remember what it was. Balsam and firewood. No, this, we both, this was the first one I picked up, and we both loved it. It's such a pretty candle, too. Can you see it? I don't know. Can you see it? But anyway. Yeah, it smell. it's like not super strong. This is the one I'm going to, I'm going to put this out, because I'm going to warm that one up in the, in the toaster. I'm biscuit. I like to kick. <laughs> Not yet, but I'm close. Anyway, but uh, so that is our uh, that is our haul. Now let me tell you why I call it. We slept through uh, we slept through a Black Friday because then let me tell you a little story. Okay, we took his mom home. She got home about I don't know three. I think 3.30ish, something like that in the morning. I brought Alex back home, and then he let the dogs out. Who let the dogs out? Who? 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 Okay, he let the dogs out, and then. <laughs> just musical breaks all over, okay? Can you imagine the soundtrack for this show? This is a show, basically, if you didn't know. Anyway, um, but uh, I should get my own show. Don't you think they should let me, that they, I don't know who they are, but they should let me have my own show. But then um, Alex let the dogs out, and then he went to sleep, and I went and vlogged and stuff like that, and then I came home, and I ate some hummus and this cheese stuff that I got from Meyer the other night. It's really good, though. But anyway, um, and then I uh, watched an episode of Dragula. Do you guys watch that show on Netflix? It's so good. It's like RuPaul's Drag Race, but I think better, honestly. But anyway, it's so good. And I watched that, and then we went to bed, and let me just tell you, we both slept past 3.30 today. And we were going to maybe do a little bit of shopping today. We talked about it on the way home last night, but we slept. I mean, I think I rolled out of the bed just about 3.45 today. <laughs> 
Oh my God, 345, that's like when you were in high school. My mom, she let me, she let me sleep, okay, when I was in high school. These friends of mine whose parents, they had foolish parents that pulled them out of bed at like nine o'clock. If you're one of those parents, congratulations, you're a great parent. But I had these parents in high school and they would pull their kids out at nine o'clock and they're like, you're not sleeping all day, you're gonna be productive. Not my mom, she let me sleep till 345 on a Saturday. She probably knew what I'd been up to the Friday night before. But anyway, thank you mom, because I did get a lot of sleep and a lot of rest. But anyway, didn't help my grades, but look, I'm a world famous YouTuber now, who cares? Anyway, um, let me know what you think about my haul in the comment section below. What did you guys get for Black Friday? Now, here is the part of the giveaway, okay? I have been listening to Serious Radio Traditions on there uh, for the Christmas music for the last month, okay? I love Christmas music. I'm not worn out with it yet. But what I do want to know in the comment section below is, number one, and I'm, okay, people are not going to like when I say this, but these giveaways are for U.S. residents only. I am sorry, okay? And they're only going to be for 24 hours, so you're going to have to come on here and watch it real quick, okay? But I want to know, what is your favorite Christmas song? Put it in the comment section below. The other thing that I am going to have to say on here is that if you're willing to do it, if you're not and you're completely legit, let me know. But, like, if you could, like, put your Instagram or, you know, Twitter or something on there if you have it, just let me know. Or if when you win, you're able, you are willing to let me, like, like see your Facebook account or just tell me privately what it is so that I can check and see that it matches up to who you really are. Um, and I'm just going to say this this first time on here. So um, that would be great because that way I can just check the winners because listen, there's some people out there and they're like, oh, I want it. And they're fakety, fakety, fakety. Right now I'm like, well, I got four of the same person. So anyway, put what your favorite Christmas song is in the comment section below. I kind of like to hear some kind of different ones. That'd be interesting. And then I'm going to randomly pick one. Okay. I'm posting this at it's going to be up, I don't know, between 7 and 8 um, on, well, I don't know, 9 maybe. I don't know when it is Eastern Standard Time. It's 7.22 right now, so sometime. So let's just say that um, the contest wins at, or ends at, when should I say? <laughs> How about, what is tonight, Friday, Saturday, 6 a.m. on Sunday, 6 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. And we'll just try to always make it 6 a.m. so people know. So you have till 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time um, to, you know what, I, yeah, 6, 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to put a comment below, and then I'm going to randomly pick one, and I will announce in the next video after that who the winner is. So it'll probably be Sunday's video, if I make a video on Sunday, who the winner is. Anyway, put it, and then uh, put it in the comment section below, and I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.